My name is Gundel Kraus Dahl, and my place of residence is uh, in near Oslo, Norway. I'm a journalist at heart. All my career has been based on journalism and uh, uh, almost entirely on radio. And how did you get into radio initially? Well, actually, I, <laughs> I went to the broadcasting station and uh, told them that I was bilingual and whether they could use me. <laughs> and um, I was then placed in the shortwave department of NRK, the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation, where there were uh, broadcasts both in Norwegian and in English to overseas listeners, both Norwegian speaking and English speaking. Things were sort of laid out for me in a sense. I became um, next in charge of the overseas department, the shortwave service, and in charge of the English service there. Radio suited me very, very much, and it's made me also uh, very much aware of how people speak, how you communicate, how you can, through radio, through audio, you can connect with people. You were working as a woman in, I would assume, a predominantly like male dominant um, work field. How, how was that? How was your experience as a female journalist, basically? Mm. Um, I think our broadcasting station and its director general were very open as far as that question is concerned and not uh, making a difference between male and female. So you never felt like you being a woman impacted how you conducted journalism? No, not really. The attitude and the viewpoint that um, men and women should join in the same organizations and that you shouldn't have separate, that may seem strange now, but it was it was um, it it was the view of the Scandinavian people. And that the best way to uh, further women's cause was to be part of a joint organization. You made that statement in the 70s. You said in the 70s that you think that having an asso association dedicated to female content creators was irrelevant. Now, 50 years later, what do you think now? Well, today, <clears throat> the situation is basically so different. And to have uh, women come together and, and to sort of fight for their causes, there's no doubt in my mind that that is a good thing. <clears throat> so I'm all for women's organizations today. I managed to form a chapter in Norway, and IAWRT became a member of a Norwegian women's umbrella organization. And through them, we gained economic support. First, for uh, bringing people from the South into conferences and on, financing that, 
But after that, Focus, the name of the umbrella organization, became our basic funder with core uh, financing as well as separate uh, projects. And that is one of the things that I'm really quite proud of. <laughs> we should talk a little bit about what um, the organization IAWRT has meant to me. Yes, please. Yeah, <laughs> because it, it really has, was during a large part of my life, it was important to me and uh, it gave me friends and contact all over the world. The conferences uh, made me see other cultures, other ways of life, other attitudes. And I think that was an enrichment for me and made me see how contacts and friendships across the world can enrich your own life. Thank well, you so much for your time. Okay. Bye. <laughs>